other on um, Monday, they have in uh, they have in fact restated their numbers and they have excluded Glenmark Life. So while the numbers already were reported, they held their conference call, which took place this morning. So a couple of important takeaways in terms of the conference call is that. For FY24, interestingly, the, the consolidated revenue growth is around 10 to 11 odd percent. The R&D investments are expected to be around 8 to 8 and a half odd percent in terms of sales. Margins are around 19 to 20 percent. But on the conference call, Manglam, they indicated that, you know, their glide path to 19 percent margins would be by FY25. So how exactly would they achieve that, achieve that would be by around 200 basis points reduction in R&D growth in uh, markets to aid margin expansion. So those are the kind of factors that they would be looking at. Consolidated CapEx stands at around 600 to 700 odd crores, priorities to enhance free cash for further debt reduction. The pricing environment, according to them, when it comes to the US seems to be stabilizing. The Monroe plant remediation is pretty much done as of now. Remember, they have regulatory issues uh, outstanding there. They will talk to the US FDA, plus they expect an inspection to take place in the Monroe facility. India, the OTC segment, for example, is doing very well according to them, which is the over-the-counter segment. They expect it to contribute significantly. And overall, they expect India to grow around 12 to 15% over the next th three odd years. So they have a very strong India portfolio. They're quite bullish in terms of growth. I think the street is anticipating that, you know, there is debt reduction, which is on the cards. They are bullish in terms of the margin improving. So hence, you can see that the stock is higher by around 2.6%. All right. That's about Glenmark, up around 3%. Take a short break. Come back at you. Key excerpts from our conversation with Mohit Berman on a range of issues with respect to the tussle at Relegate.